hello there. It's really great to see you again. Yes, well, today um, you've come to see me for a variety of different things, is that right? Okay, not a problem. So today I'm just going to use a lot of different tools with you that will hopefully help um, you to feel better. So, um, shall we get started by firstly having a little listen to your heart? Would that be okay? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Alright, if you could just lift up your shirt. Yeah, that's great, thank you. And I'm just going to place it on your chest about here, okay? Alright, okay. And now take a deep breath in. around your back, just under your shirt. Is that alright? Okay. Okay. And breathe in for me. That's it. Okay, I'm just going to move it a little bit. And breathe in. Okay, lovely. Alright. It sounds like you've got a really good, steady heart rate there. Um, so, nothing to worry about in that area. Okay, the, um, the receptionist already took all your details, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, well, that's fine. I know a little bit about you and um, some of your past medical history, which is great. So today, areas that we're going to have a look at are your skin, um, I would like to try and help you with some of the pressure built up in your pores. I have a variety of tools here which I'm going to apply to your skin just to help release some of those uh, built up areas. Um, I've also got um, some tools to look at your ears. I want to see um, what condition your ears are in and give them a little bit of a clean up for you. I hope that would be alright. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, so what should we start with? Let's um let's have a little look in your ears, okay? In my little pouch here, I've got what is known as an otoscope. And um, it will help me to have a really good deep look in your ears. Okay. So I'm just going to affix a new piece on the otoscope. This is a new Before I have a look at your ears, um, I'm just going to put on my gloves just to keep everything really hygienic, okay? Lovely, okay. So I've got a nice fresh pair of gloves. And this is to help keep you clean and me clean as well. It's um, an extra barrier to protect us from any germs that we might be carrying, even if we have washed our hands very thoroughly. So, there. That's much better. So, I'm going to have a little look in your ears now, okay? I'm just going to put the little light on. Can see it glowing there, showing that it's working. Okay, now I'm just going to have a little look in your right ear. Okay. Okay. Mm, there's a little bit of wax build up 
in your right ear, I notice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. Yeah. Not too bad, but I can help you to sort that out today. And let me have a little look in your left ear now. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, and just a little bit of wax build up in your left ear. give you a little bit of an ear clean if that's all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little kit of ear cleaning tools. So let's have a little look at what we've got. Now, we've got a few little to scrape around. So we have some little tools that look like this, which used to sort of scrape the uh, sort of dead skin away from the, your outer ear. So I've got a few different tools like that. And I have got some very special tools which I'm gonna look a little bit like this and this one goes into your more inner part of your ear and because of the shape of it we can twist it around and it'll help to release some of the debris inside your ear. I've got a few varieties of that one. Um, the most effective one is this tool which has a little spring on the end. It is actually a spring. And that you just turn gently inside your ear and that can help to release the wax build up and then it'll capture it between the spirals and we can gently extract that from your ear. So I'm just going to start with a very gentle little scraping tool just to look around your outside ear and just pull away any debris that's sitting there at the moment. Okay, so let's have a good close look. Just going to have another quick little look in there. This one, I'm just going to scrape use a cotton pad to collect any of the debris from around there. Mm-hmm. 
one with the little spring on the end. Okay. to worry about. It's all releasing really well. That's really good.
going to do another little bit of scraping just around that area just because most of it has been released but I just need to kind of pull it out a little bit last little pieces are just on your outer ear. Okay, that looks good. Now, I just want to give both of your ears a little, a little brush, just to get those tiny little bits just from the outside part of your ear here. Okay. lovely after this. Great, okay. Okay, I'm gonna just do the other one now. I just want to tease that last little bit out of there. Oh, that's really good. Well done. look really good now. I just want to double check and just look inside again just to make sure I've got the last little bits of everything. Okay. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, that one looks, that one looks really good. I can see right in there, it's all really clean now. And this one. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's get a bit closer. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, well done. Fantastic. Now, what I would like to do for you, um, instead of a bit of an extra thing I would just like to offer you today is so we're doing an ear cleaning and um, sort of general health but also I want to look at your skin today. So what I'd like to start off doing is just to give your face just a wash just with water, okay? Um, so I've got a wet pad here that I'm just going to wipe over all of your face um, before I have a closer look at your pores, okay? Alright, are you ready? you've got wet skin um, it makes it a little bit more pliable for me so I have got a really good set of different tools that I'm going to use to help extract some of the spots that you've got on your skin today okay mm -hmm. so I noticed that you've got a few um, trapped pores on this side so what I'm going to do I think is use one of the tools which helps to release the skin and then helps to allow the the harder spot underneath to come out. So I think I might use this one and just to give a couple of those pores just a little bit of a press just to tap with the very very spiky 
end. Don't worry, it shouldn't hurt. You might feel just a tiny, tiny little pointed spike. <laughs> but once I've done that, it'll mean that those areas I can then use this tool to help pull out the debris that's left lingering under your skin. So I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to just pop. It's not popping but it's more releasing the skin which has sealed above the pore just to open up the pore again to allow everything. me know if it's painful at all, but I should be applying the correct pressure. Okay. I'm going to do a couple on this side as well. There's not so many, but there's a couple. to your skin. So imagine, imagine this is your face. I'm going to apply it, the pressure, and then the spot will be in the middle. And that will, I will then pull it, and that will help the spot come to the surface. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, you ready? Okay, that looks really good. Well done. So it's just a short little extraction today, but what I want to do now is to give you a little bit of a toning cleanse and then uh, finish off with a bit of a moisturiser. Is that okay? Right, so I would advise um, that you get hold of yourself some balancing toner. Now this is by the brand Forever and um, I will give you the details um, for you to be able to get a hold of this yourself and <clears throat> it's just a wonderful toner because it is made by pure aloe vera leaf and it has the highest concentrate of aloe vera that is possible to put into a product because of the special um, process the aloe vera has gone through. The aloe vera has gone through a cold press process rather than um, being put into any preservatives. So that means that it has not been tainted um, from when it was first harvested. And the aloe vera used in this product um, is from the whole of the leaf, but they do not use the skin because the skin of the aloe vera leaf uses um, contains a lot of um, harmful chemicals in the skin, which can be quite irritable, irritating, and cause you ish irritability. But they actually go along and they skin every single aloe leaf to make sure that the best product is in this toner. So that's why I want to use it with you today. So, um, like I said, you can access uh, this toner for yourself 
um, and I'll leave the details for you. Okay, so um, other ingredients that are in this donut include I think there's some white tea in there and the general way that you should use this toner you should apply you only need two or three drops um, on a cotton pad and then you can wipe it across your neck and your face now because it's made of aloe vera a small amount goes a very long way and it means that this product lasts a lot longer than you would expect so let me give you a good cleanse okay this toner should help to tighten your skin tighten your pores which is exactly what we want to do after releasing and extracting material from your pores is that we now need to close them up again because they are now very susceptible to being filled with dirt and grime and that is the last thing that we want to happen now that they're clear okay that's very good well done. Right. Now you have a very, a very clean looking skin. The little areas where the pimples were extracted are a little bit red still. So I would suggest that we go ahead with using, I would suggest that we go ahead with using the Aloe Nourishing Serum, which is by Forever and contains white tea. Now this nourishing serum is um, very special as it preserves and replenishes your skin's moisture and it helps to maintain a youthful appearance. So what I would advise that you do um, is every morning and evening you should put three pumps of the product onto your fingertips and that is plenty to do your whole face and neck. Um, that's the wonderful thing about aloe vera is that a little bit goes a long way and sometimes I'll only actually use maybe one pump and it will be enough to spread around most of my face. So um, put the pumps to your fingertips, rub your fingertips together and then apply to your face. Okay. So what I like to do is to use the serum specifically in areas which are more susceptible to dryness. So with your skin, it depends on where that would normally be. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, so yes. So maybe um, on your forehead or above your eyebrows. Okay, yes. Um, I often find areas that can be particularly greasy or can attract more oils sort of down here. So I don't necessarily suggest to put a lot of moisturiser here, but definitely put it on areas where it dry, so more up here on your face and across the top of your head, anywhere you get dry spells. But do feel free to put it all over, it's not going to be too much of a problem if you do have oily skin, as it, it helps you to retain your natural moisture rather than adding too much and the aloe vera will help to heal any difficult problem areas, especially those areas where we have just extracted from, because the aloe will heal it, okay? So if you want to get a hold of um, some serum for yourself, I will leave um, some information for you on where you can get hold of the aloe nourishing serum, which is a really great anti-aging product as well. You can use it on your outer eyes to prevent crow's feet and it's doing a really good job on me. <laughs> so let's get some moisturiser on you now. Okay. Right. Let's, um, so I'm going to just put it above your eyebrows. Great. 
And I'm gonna put it a little bit. Looks like you have a trouble area here. And like maybe here and here. Yeah, okay. And then a, bit, a little bit up here. pretty good. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Now you can be a little bit more thorough with that at home if you want to. Okay. Now, wonderful. Thank you very much for coming to see me today. And feel free to come round soon um, to see me. I can book you in for another appointment um, for a general sort of head to toe, top to toe. Next time I might have a look at your eyes and see how they're responding and just to see if your general eye health is doing quite well. Shall I book you in for that? Okay, all right. That's in the system at now, so um, you'll get a little letter um, saying when the next available appointment is. All right. It's been so lovely to see you today. Please come again soon and take care.